Okay, today I'm going to talk about self-awareness. You know, the first time that I that this idea or this topic crossed my mind was the time at which I was thinking about actually the importance of awareness. Honestly or frankly, awareness is important not only about your abilities but also about your surrounding. You know, a bit for getting, gathering some information about self-awareness, I was thinking with myself that it is really important and crucial to be aware of our, all of things and happenings in your environment and surroundings. For example, imagine a person who go to the gas station for fueling his car. Some people just go to the gas station straight without paying attention to other things, other people, other size of people, and also products in different supermarkets, I don't know, automobiles, whatever you can imagine. As a result, they just they just fuel their car and they do not get new ideas or new patterns uh, from their surroundings and environment. And in my idea, that's a harmful, let's say, product or result that, for example, uh, compare this situation with the situation in which a person goes to, goes to, go to the gas station tries to get some information by looking at people, their style, their behaviors, you know, and whatever you can imagine. And as a result, you can see different patterns in people and your atmosphere and some maybe some new ideas or some creativities spark in your mind. And as a result, sometimes you can change your mind in your life and make or find a new way, way for being successful in your own life. But what about self-awareness? It is really crucially important to be aware of all of your qualities and features. You know, self-awareness is not about your surrounding. It's about your own abilities, your features, your beliefs. You know, uh, these days or maybe um, or maybe in the past, for example, we have been taught to dr- drive a line between, draw a line between right and wrong. And uh, as a result, they didn't have enough chance or enough room for thinking about something which is really valuable in their mind, what are their priorities, what are their plans for the future. So they didn't have enough time to know themselves. And it is detrimental in my point of view. And according to some information and articles that I read about this topic. But let me clarify this point for you that it is not easy to know all of your qualities and features. You know, it really takes time and it's time consuming in other words. Because you need to communicate with lots of people from all ways of life and also taking part in many communities, socialize with different people and doing many tasks. So as a prerequisite or sine qua non, you need to have enough audacity or temerity to experience different things. We have heard a lot from a lot of adolescents that they do not like to experience something that they haven't experienced in the past. So that's really harmful for them because sometimes people lose their time in their life and they hesitate to experience different tasks. So if I want to give some hints about, uh, let's say, knowing your qualities and, uh, let's say, abilities, I can say that there are many points which are suggested by uh, pioneers in this field. The first one is that uh, create some space for yourself. Take a walk sometimes with, with your intimate friends. Try to read something, write some books, and try to write or sometimes record your voice and talk, talk, talk about your beliefs, your ideas, your plans, blueprints, something that you believe in. And you know, you need to be connected with yourself. And as a result, you can know yourself, your abilities. And practice mindfulness. Think about all of your values, your ambitions, and something you want to be successful in. And when you can say that you are, you have a sense of self-awareness, that you know all of the traits that can define your character. And don't forget to put a why after saying everything, every sentence about yourself. For example, when you say that you're punctual, try to put a why at the end of the sense or statement. You know, sometimes people are not honest with themselves. They think they are punctual, but in reality, the reality is something else. So you need to get feedback from your well-wishers or maybe pedagogues, teachers, your your honest friends. Uh, one more point. 
so as a result, you need it's not a it's not plausible to lose your time. Try to experience different things. Write down all of your uh, priorities and your plans for your future to actually uh, to be aware all of your uh, future's qualities and the fields in which you can be successful in your life. Uh, that was all of information that I gathered about self-awareness. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I thank you so much. Enjoy was it thank you, Sasan. You're welcome. No, it was okay. It was good. Yeah. And also quality is more important than? Quantity. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even the quantity was okay. Um, all right. So, any suggestion? Any comments? Okay. Uh, once you said a person who go to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think he corrected himself. Uh, exactly. After that. After that. Yes. Yeah. And uh, atmosphere. 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 I th uh, is it atmosphere? Yes. Okay. Atmosphere suitable. Okay. And uh, adolescence. Yes. Okay. It yeah. was not that clear. I had the same actually question in my mind. Uh, he was not that clear actually pronouncing these words. But uh, okay, so uh, this is uh, atmosphere. Yeah. I didn't know that atmosphere. Yeah, okay, personally. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Arash. You are always great. You know, paying so much attention. That's kind of you. This is the best thank one you. of the best ways yeah. actually to uh, learn English and focus on pronunciation. So, I think you said hesitate, Sasan. Hesitate? Yeah. Yes, with Z. Hesitate. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. As far as I know, it is hesitate with Z. Yeah, let me check it. Hesitate. Hesitate, yeah. The British and American hesitate. Mm, yeah, it is Z. Okay. Yeah, pay attention to the phonetic structure. Forget about yeah. the <laughs> pronunciation. You know, sometimes it's wrong. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. this is something that I have uh, told Arash. If Arash, do you remember? I told you do yeah. not do not depend on them. Uh, let's say uh, those recorded sounds. No, stick to the phonetic yeah. association yeah. and this is hesitate with the Z. see thank you yes, yes you're welcome and uh, let me review my notes and also Karim if you have any point we are always eager to listen to you no doctor I don't have any correction and okay and uh, also you said priority I think it is priorities priority Okay, okay. Yeah, it's priority. Let me check it. Priority. Yeah, yeah priority. Yeah. And uh, let me see. And you said successful. It is successful. Second syllable. Successful. Yeah. Yes, second. Okay. So this is a very uh, popular word. So try to just uh, unlearn that uh, sure. fossilized word. You know, pronunciation success. Yeah, as a successful person, you should be able to pronounce <laughs> it correctly. And um, so, is it honest person? If if I uh, yeah, I saw it in one of the blogs. Uh, maybe that was. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, honest, honest Ted. Wow, mm, I have not heard of that. But yeah. if you just uh, used it from a well, sorry, on, uh, trusted. Maybe said honest. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I said honest, but I made a mistake. Uh -huh. okay. Something that I saw in the website was trusted. as trusted. Yeah, trusted. Yeah, trusted. We do have trusted. Yeah, yeah. we do have that. But okay. So uh, mm. thank you, thank you very much. Uh, what specific sources did you use? Uh, I just searched in Google and fi found on different Google. web like yeah on Google and mm -hmm. found different web like websites okay. about self awareness yeah and I'm sure you use some of your your own experiences yeah yeah mm -hmm. 
And which of those techniques is more uh, favored by you? Uh, you mentioned some techniques in oh, order yes, to yes. build your self-awareness. Which one are you practicing these days? Uh, honestly, about those practices, I mean, writing down or mm -hmm. uh, putting on the paper, I'm not very uh, mm -hmm. follower in this field. But mm -hmm. um, but about the story that I told you about the person who goes to a gas station and tries to pay attention to his surrounding, I do mm -hmm. it a lot. But about this those... does not necessarily increase your self awareness, as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, it has nothing to do with self awareness. Yeah, you're right. You become judgmental, um, and that is not good. You know, judgmental about others. Uh, you know something sometimes i think for that example oh look paying at attention. that person he's bald ha 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 this is no, so no. <laughs> judgmental in that gas station <laughs> you know i think sometimes for example different minds have different abilities sometimes sure. you can see that some people try to put some ideas into action which has never crossed your mind Mm -hmm. So by looking or paying attention to their style or I don't know be behaviors, you can sometimes sometimes you can learn something. Yeah, you get inspired by them. Yeah, that's what all about the other philosophy techniques? behind taking some role models in your life. Yes, exactly. About other techniques, I don't use them. Mm -hmm. So maybe actually this is a good pretext or platform to start from. You know. You put your knowledge yeah. into action. You already have a list of or some tips on increasing your self-awareness. So you could just put them into action, you know. I really but, like the one that you said that do not be a copier of others. Do not copy others, you know. And uh, try to know your own weak and strong points. I think in your question, exactly. is it weakness points, but it is weak points and strong points or weaknesses and strengths, oh. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. In your question provided in the uh, Telegram yes. group. Yeah. So uh, we already uh, answered some of the questions, but uh, Karim and Arash, if you have any question to post to Sasan, please. So forget about mm -hmm. the questions no. because we already answered them. Yes. No, I don't right. have. No, I don't have also any question. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you so much. You, yeah. you know, uh, self-awareness is one of the, uh, let's say, primary steps to increase your EQ, emotional quotient, emotional intelligence. You see, so, so yeah. vital. So if you do not have enough self-awareness, you could not go go on to the other stages. You know, I mean, uh, increasing your motivation, people skills, empathy, and so on and so forth. Okay, I enjoyed it so much. Thank you. Thank you.